These days, we hear of fevers of different categories, whether it's dengue or chikungunya or a viral fever or a bacterial fever or an infection. We don't know what's happening, but we just know that we have fever, which are actually very scary, uh, and we just want to get rid of it. At Pujas Dotin, we have wonderful solutions for fevers, all kinds of fevers. Stay tuned to watch this video. Namaste. We hear of all kinds of fevers. Did you know that there's chikungunya in the air? Did you know that a lot of people are falling sick and their platelets are going down? Did you know, did you know, did you know? We are hearing all kinds of things and people are scared to step out. People are scared to eat outside. People are scared to perform their routines in a normal way because they are so insecure about catching an infection or getting fevers or you know, what if it's contagious? What if, what if, what if? Like that, we have lots of worries. In today's video, let us discuss what is the solution Pooja Stotin has for all kinds of fevers. This is Mekla here from Pooja Stotin. So the beauty of all our rishis and sages have been such that they have had solutions for each and every problem a human being could face in this Kali Yuga on this planet. So if you go back and see how would they treat themselves when they would get fevers or the general humanity or the society they lived in would get fevers. Have you ever thought about it? Yes, definitely there were doctors who would cure them and there were uh, vaidyas, they would call it them, you know, the specialists and they would cure them definitely with their healing powers. However, along with that, they also believed that divinity has solutions for all kinds of problems. Be it fever be because of your vata or your pitta or your kapha, be it because of ushnajwara or a shita jwara, all kinds of fevers, in fact if you watch all kinds of fevers had solutions and they still have solutions. It's just that this knowledge has remained only to a few people who have shown interest in this aspect, who have shown interest in knowing exactly what the ancient science has to tell, what the sacred science has to tell us. We at Pujas Dotin offer you the services of Jorahara Homa and Indrakshi Shivakavacha Parayana. Netranan the Shapishavi, Padivratam, Yukratar Mambara, Hema Ham, Hatim, Vilam, Vitashikama, Muktakeshan, Vidam, Danta, Mandi, the Pada, Patrikalan, Magin, the Pumhastani, Indrakshim, Parijindadam, Manasam, Kalpok, the Siddhip Pradam, Indrakshim, the Pudam, Devim, Peter, Vastrad, Vidam, Vidam, Baba Hasteva, Jataran, the Chene, Navarra Pradam, Indrakshim, Sahajavati, Nana, Lankar, Bodidam, Prasan Navadanam, Bodam, Saragana Sevidam, the Pudam, Saunya Vadanam, Pasham, Gushataram. Trailok Tamokin in Devi, Indra, Shri Ramagitidam, Pitam, Baram Vadrika Hastam, Nana Vidalan Karanam, Rasanam, Tamap Saras, Sevi the Pada Badam, Indra, Shri Vande, Shivatarma Batim. So these are the two things which we do uh, basically in your name and star. Whoever is suffering from fever, we would take Sankalp in that name that all kinds of fevers be gone. Let them get rid of all kinds of fevers from their body and the results are almost instantaneous. Why would I say almost is because you perform the puja in the morning definitely by evening you see that the person's health has really improved drastically to the better. Improve means better right so it has definitely improved and I have had live cases of people who have experienced fever, severe fevers, their platelets going down and not knowing what to do and things like that. And when they have called us and we have done this puja for them, they have seen that their health by evening has become all right, almost normal. So the fever has just gone from the body and this protection remains in their body for about a year. And the best part is we energize bhasma or the vibhuti and we energize it with some jwarahara mantras, with different uh, kinds of jwarahara uh, mantras are there. So we, uh, in fact, you know, in this video, you can just listen to it. You know, I would pause for a while and you can listen to it. Om Bhasma Judhara Vidbahe Raktane Traja Dhimhe Tanno Jwarahara Prajoda Jats Vaha Om Bhasma Judhara Vidbahe Raktane Traja Dhimhe Tanno Jwarahara Prajoda Jats Vaha Jwara Rajaja Vidbahe Trishira Skaja Dhimhe Tanno Jwarah Prajoda Jats Vaha Jwala Malaja Vidbahe Vajradam Straja Dhimhe 
ತನ್ನೋ ಜ್ವರ ಪ್ರಜೋದಯ ಸ್ವಾಹ ಜ್ವರ ಹರ ದೇವತಾಭ್ಯ ಇದನ್ನ ಮಾಮೇ ಟು ದ ಜ್ವರ ರಾಜ ಟು ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲೀವ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಹರ ಮಂತ್ರ ತ್ರಿಪಾತ್ ಭಸ್ಮ ಪ್ರಹರಣ ತ್ರಿಶಿರೋ ರಕ್ತಲೋಚನ ಸಮೇ ಪ್ರೇತ ಸುಖಂ ದಜ್ಜಾತ್ ಸರ್ವ ಮಜಪತಿ ಜ್ವರ ಸ್ವಾಹ ಜ್ವರಂ ಚ ಜ್ವರ ಸಾರಂಚ ಪಾಪ್ಯತಿ ಸಾರಜ್ವರಂ ಹರ ಸನ್ನಿಪಾತ ಜ್ವರ ಮೃತ್ಯು ಜ್ವರನ್ ಅಶಜನಾಶ ಸ್ವಾಹ ಕೌಬೇರಂತೆ ಮುಖಂ ರಾತ್ರೌ ರೌದ್ರಂ ಸೌಮ್ಯಂ ಮುಖಂ ದಿವ ಜ್ವರ ಮೃತ್ಯು ಭಜಂ ಘೋರಂ ಜ್ವರಂ ನಾಶಜ ಮೇ ಜ್ವರ ಸ್ವಾಹ ಜ್ವರ ಹರ ದೇವತಾಭ್ಯ ಸೊ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಹೌ ದಿ ಗಾಡ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಇಂದ್ರಾ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಗಾಡ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಈವನ್ ದಿ ಅಸುರ ಶಕ್ತೀಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಈವನ್ ದ ರೋಗಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರೇ ಟು ದೆಮ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ವೇ ದಟ್ ದೇ ಲೀವ್ ಆರ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಇನ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಡಿಗ್ನಿಫೈಡ್ ವೇ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ಭಸ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ಎನರ್ಜೈಸ್ ಬೈ ಟಚಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪ್ರೀಸ್ ದ ಮೇನ್ ಪ್ರೀಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಟಚ್ ದ ಭಸ್ಮ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಪುಟ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಪ್ಲೇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ಸಂಕಲ್ಪ ಇಸ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಇನ್ ಯೋರ್ ನೇಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೇಯರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ರಿಚುಲಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ವೇ ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಸೋ ದಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ದ ಒನ್ಸ್ ದ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಸಫರಿಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈಸ್ ಇಟ್ he is sure to be protected but let me assure you that even before it reaches that particular stage the moment the homa is performed or the havan is performed for jwara raja and indrakshi shiva kavacha the kavach is already worn by you so then the thing is that your aura remains protected at least for a year you are not likely to have any kind of fevers all the doctors say that it's good to have fevers once a year all the infection all the bad bacteria all the bad virus all the bad things the toxins come out from your body and you should get cold otherwise you would you know end up uh, having a hysteria and things like that you know once in a year you should have um, a cold and that is the natural immune system of the body and things like that but then if you are not able to withstand this kind of a onslaught of the virus or the bacteria in your body and your immunity is really down you have no energy to take it and people around you are paranoid uh, to see you suffer then definitely you need divine grace even otherwise you need divine grace but what i'm trying to tell you is this kind of a puja is really helping people even in the worst case scenario to emerge healthy at the end of the puja now i would like to share with you two success stories of how jwarahara homa really helped uh, two devotees get rid of their fever and remain hale and hearty first is my father himself so what happened was once uh, he was really ill and uh, he was down with fever and his fever was not coming down at all it was 104 and his immunity was very low and his body had developed some sort of an infection because of that and uh, literally because of the infection what happened was his bp came down drastically like as drastic as i can say 60 by 40 almost to the point of faint and he was not so sure of what he was talking and he was not able to grasp what we were telling literally we made him stand and he he would just sit down and he just could not uh, even respond to what we were talking when he was in this kind of a situation uh, i would always go to divinity for anything and everything so there is nothing like you know oh my god for all these things you have to go to a puja is it i don't believe in that kind of a mentality in fact i believe that if i make a right prayer i will get the good doctor and i will also get good medication and at the end of it definitely uh, i would get good results so i would i would immediately consult my priest uh, the team of priests and say like you know what is the solution for this kind of a a problem then he uh, my priest said you know why don't you do jwarahara homa because it's jwarahara means to get rid of the jwara and i said but i don't know what kind of fever he has so he said don't worry about it uh, don't worry about what fever appa has so just uh go ahead and get this done and uh, you see in the sankalpa only you'll be surprised to know that there are many other kinds of fevers which you yourself don't know and all those fevers are already listed in the sankalpa and it's a different kind of sankalpa and in that we will say this jwara be gone may the jwara caused by vata be gone may the jwara caused by pitta be gone may the jwara caused by kapha be gone see when i say vata pitta kapha it means not because of them because of imbalances in them okay may the uh, jwara caused by uh, ushna excess heat in the body be gone so all these ushna jwara sheeta jwara tapa jwara the everything is there in that so he said when you uh, when i take the sankalp you will know what i'm talking about it's so uh, complete in itself that you don't need to do anything because these are not things which are formed by human beings they are formed by divine beings they are formed by sages they are at least passed on to us by sages so you should uh, go for this i said yeah why not uh, please go ahead and do it and the very next moment he did the 
puja. So in the morning he did the puja. Evening my father was normal. He had weakness, uh, no doubt about it, but not to the extent what he had. And his fever was completely gone, completely gone. And that is the beauty of this puja. And then I developed complete faith in this that yes, if we do this for anybody suffering from dengue or chikungunya or any such things, then definitely they are going to be helped and um, you know, at least they need not suffer, their family need not suffer. So this is one thing that I really completely vouch for based on my personal experience. Another instance that happened was a client of mine from Bombay and she had a parents in uh, Delhi and one of them, one of the parents was not feeling well and um, uh, they, he was suffering from fever and again it was Dengue and uh, he he's quite aged also uh, he was, he's 80 plus so if uh, you know any medication anything in excess or develops a lot of weakness and she was very paranoid and she called me and she said please ma'am do this and um, i want him to be healthy morning we did evening he was fine and uh, the best part is they didn't know the nakshatra or rashi we just did with the name nama nakshatra nama rashi but the mantra is so powerful that they will the mantra will go and find the god will go and find that form of divinity will find the devotee in whose name the puja is done by evening he was absolutely fine and she was so um, awestruck and she was like really she, unbelievable miracle that happened to her in a, in a short span of time that she has seen see people go through lots of problems and different kinds we all have problems uh, but some problems take time to resolve and some you know happen instantaneously this was one of its kind for her where she didn't expect an instantaneous uh, re response from god in terms of he healing and then he she saw that oh my god my dad is absolutely fine now so that was the beauty of that particular uh, puja for her that's how it worked so coming back to my case again uh, to my father's case what i do from that year is every year like how i would renew my uh, health insurance policy uh, i would always get a jorahara homa done for him in his name on a particular day in this month so it's my belief that you know uh, you know this is something that if we do definitely he will get better and he will not have health issues like this on and off. So another instance that happened was that uh, we were supposed to do, uh, my father was due for a uh, Jwarahara Homa in the month of June, July. Okay. So when he was due to uh, get it done, what exactly happened at that time was our priests were busy because we had lots of puja bookings and they had to also uh, do some uh, temple kumbabishekam. So in like inaugurating the temple in a ritualistic way and that requires a lot of attention and lot of time and lot of preparations so they were doing that and so uh, you know i said okay we are supposed to be doing this when do we do it and the priest said let's do it after the kumbhavishekam so that we are also a bit relaxed i said okay that's fine because my father was healthy i said okay that's fine and i was no i was just casual about it and then what happened on the other side is uh, in my personal friend my uncle okay my uncle that's my father's elder brother was suffering from cancer for a long time he was very critical and and he passed away so we have this uh, uh, process where we don't do pujas for certain at least till 13 days we don't do uh, pujas at all okay any of any kind when somebody passes away who's your immediate family circle so now what happened the priest is free and my uncle has passed away so we cannot do that so I was just getting paranoid somewhere uh, I'm like oh my god I'm like you know he, we should have got it done to be on the safer side and things like that and my father fell sick and he fell sick and the same situation again but luckily this time it was I think we had crossed 13 days and uh, he had the same fever same BP was down and a lot of these things happened and again I called the priest I said can you please do the puja because really his um, fever is just not reducing and then his BP is down and he's really kind of suffering a lot and I cannot bear to see that so then he said have we completed 13 days I said yeah just about so then he said okay let's do it and then he did and he was absolutely fine so then the doctor cleared and said he's fine so now uh, what, I, what do I want to tell you in this story is whether I don't know whether I'm obsessed with it uh, or I'm too dependent on it that uh, you know if I don't do something will happen or if something may happen like that I have that kind of a uh, some insecurity I can say I'm still you know, I need to work on myself and overcome that because 
it's not a rule that you have to do it every year uh, to make sure your parents are healthy or you're healthy but it's just that somehow it's got into my psyche and i and i just feel that only if i do every single year you know he'll he'll be good and things like that but um my guru always tells me don't get into these kind of obsessions and uh, god is very compassionate and kind yes you have to invoke grace uh, uh, with lot of devotion and not fear and uh, definitely i don't have other kinds of fears but this is something uh, i really have which i need to work on uh, why i'm t- uh, telling you the story is because uh, i feel that you know uh, nobody is perfect and when you actually share what you feel uh, you know your real experience definitely somebody in this world whoever is watching this video will one of you will be able to relate to what i'm saying and if you are also going to be in the same space where you see that your loved one is really suffering a lot and you're getting paranoid and you know you feel you should keep doing something or the other to make that person be in perfect health you don't have to worry that's what my guru tells me he says that don't worry you have prayed once and just um, if you can afford to do pujas so on and off it's fine but otherwise also if you just pray once and just have firm belief that no uh, he's going to be fine because uh, he's taken care of and things like that he will be fine so you don't have to keep repeatedly doing like an obsession so um, that is one more thing that i wanted to tell you that you don't have to be obsessed about doing pujas time and again but if there is a need you should not hesitate to do it because it's question of life and uh, um, life is very precious very precious no amount of money can buy life no amount of money can make a doctor do miracles the miracle has to happen from the divine world you know you see him he's there he's uh, <laughs> indrakshi shiva kavacha is him only right it's a beautiful painting of uh, ardhanarishwara because both are required we need their grace we need indrakshi we need shiva we need both of them and uh, only with their blessings we are what we are so uh, this is a wonderful puja and it has really worked miracles sometimes you should not wait for your platelet to go up on its own wait for a donor to come and donate or uh, you know wait just keep waiting and keep experimenting with medicines and checking whether you are responding to medicines or your near ones are responding to medicines don't waste time experimenting if you know somebody who's really critical please refer to them and tell them that you know they should get this indrakshi shiva kavacha jwarahara homa done it's a very very powerful puja i'm repeating once again and it really cures all kinds of fevers it's mainly for fevers only all kinds of fevers whether uh, we know only a few of them and there are many more so even the most complicated fevers are cured with this particular puja just with this note i would like to say namaste to you and i'll come back to you in another video if you want to book this puja you can always reach me on my mobile number thank you Namaste.